एको सेवेंटी नाइन जॉयडेक सिक्सटी फाइव एपल थर्टी सिक्स सॉल्ट फोर्टी नाइन यूनिक सेवेंटीन जॉइन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड्स एंड नंबर्स राइट सम यूनिक वर्ड्स एंड द यूनिक वर्ड राइट बहुत आर दे यूनिक फॉर मी हियर इज दिस वर्ड जॉयडेक आई एल गो चेक द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस आफ्टर द सेशन गेट्स ओवर then there are like four steps right step 1 to step 4 it says step 4 is the last step of the above arrangement as the intended arrangement is obtained and as per the rules followed in the given steps find out the appropriate steps for the given input so there's one more input given to us which is invert 56 param 84 and 29 goal 97 urge 16 work 37 so like you all know the first step in machine input output is to look at the last step so let's look at the last step see one observation is that all the words and numbers remain the same throughout the process it is just that their positions have been changed right so we have the same set of words right unique zoidic echo salt apple join and the numbers are 36 49 29 65 17 79 now one very clear observation is that all the words have been brought uh, towards the front and the numbers have been taken at the end right the words have been moved in the beginning of the step all the words and the numbers at the end towards the end now we have to identify the logic within the words and within numbers here okay so look at the words unique zoidic echo salt apple join mm, not very clear as to what's happening here because this is neither alphabetic order nor reverse alphabetic order right i mean if it is reverse alphabetic order zoidic should come first u should come next but these two are swapped then echo and salt apple and join not really right now if you observe something interesting here out of the six words given three of the words start with a vowel unique echo and apple and within these three words we have followed the reverse alphabetic order you see u so do, you jump you jump from unique to echo and from echo to apple right so unique to echo echo to apple is reverse alphabetic order right u e a look at the other words the other three words of course start with consonants right zoidic salt join so z s and j are consonants right look at these words now zoidic to salt salt to join this also is reverse alphabetic order right z then s then j so very clearly the words have been arranged in reverse alphabetic orders order but then we have to only look at Uh, words starting with vowels in one go and then words starting with consonants in the other go i'm sure this is clear and we start with a word starting with vowel all all these things are important so all the words have been taken in the beginning of the step right the words have been put in alternate ways i mean words starting with vowels followed by words starting with consonants and so on the words starting with vowels have been put in reverse alphabetic order and those starting with uh, consonants have also been put in reverse alphabetic order now look at the numbers numbers i hope is easier because that was complex i am not sure if we get that idea in the exam but you know there's no other way you either get it or you don't get it now look at the numbers what happens in the numbers there 36 49 29 uh then we have 65 17 19 79 so what's happening here 36 and 49 are squares any other square there no i mean 36 and 49 are perfect squares uh, these are not perfect squares what's the logic 49 29 seventy nine no mm. yeah i think something that i can see here is in pairs yeah so what do you see in this pair highest i mean i'm coming in the reverse direction highest number lowest number right highest lowest second highest second lowest third highest third lowest you're able to follow let me let me just put the numbers in uh, a sequence so 17 then uh, you know 29 36 49 65 79 so what did we do we have taken 17 and 79 in one pair move towards the end Then twenty nine and sixty five as other pair, and thirty six and forty nine is the third pair. So seventeen, seventeen and the lowest extremes basically have been taken towards the end. Then in between whatever we have twenty nine and sixty five next, and thirty six forty nine next, and within each pair smaller number comes first. 
36, then 49, 29, then 65, 17, then 79. Yeah, so that's the logic. I don't see anything uh, more obvious than this in the in the logic here, right? So, so what do we do? Let's let's look at the steps now. I think just getting the output logic is not important. You also have to uh, you also have to look at the step by step process. Only then we'll be able to arrange the given input, right? So what happens in step one? You know what is the desired output now, right? The desired output is very clear. Unique, then Zoidic, Echo, Salt, Apple, Join. 36, 49, 29, 65, 70, 79. So look at the changes from input to step one. In step one, very clearly unique. The word unique has been brought to the first position. Why? Because we want unique in the first position in the output. Uh, echo is as it is. 79 is missing. 79 has been taken to the last position. I think everything else remains the same. So echo, zoidex, 65, apple, 36, salt, 49. Unique has been moved. 17, joint, 29. Then comes 79. Yeah. Now, why unique was brought to the first position? Because that's the desired output. Why was 79 brought to the last position? Because that was the desired output. So, in each step, we are moving a word and a number. And we are doing what kind of an arrangement? Extreme positions. We are taking the word to the extreme left and number to the extreme right. And we'll do it inwards. Like, for example, if you see, in all the remaining steps, the first and the last positions are fixed. Unique, 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 unique. 79, 79, 79, 79. Now, we'll worry about the uh, second positions from the left and the right. Now what do we want after unique? Echo. So wherever is, sorry, what do we want after unique? Zoidic. So wherever is Zoidic, move that. So from step 1 to step 2 you can see Zoidic has been moved and before 79 you need 17, so 17 has been moved. Everything else remains as it is, right? Echo 65, Apple 36, Salt 49, Join 29. Then step uh, 2 is done. Now from step 2 to step 3, what do we want in the third position? Echo here and 65 here. So from step 2 to step 3, now, if you observe from step 2 to step 3, the word echo is already in the right position. See, echo was what needed in third position. It is already there in the third position. See, now Zoidic is fixed everywhere. 17 is also fixed. Echo was to be in third position. It is already in the right position. So, we don't have to touch it. What we will do? We will bring the next word. So, after echo, what do we want? We want salt. So, actually, if you see, uh, I will highlight in some other color so that you understand this. This ECO has not been moved. It is there as it is. What has been moved in step 3? Salt. Salt which was in this position has been brought here. And before 17 what do we want? We want 65. So 65 has been moved here. Everything else remains as it is. Apple then 36. Salt has anyway gone. 49 joint 29. Now in the next step. What comes after salt? We want apple. But again apple is already in the correct position. So apple is not touched again. Yes or no? Apple is already in the right position. So leave apple as it is. Bring the next word which is join. Similarly, before 65, we wanted 29, which is already in the correct position. Yeah. So what do we do? We'll only move join. So move join. Join was brought to the required position. And before 29, we needed 49. So 49 comes here. And by default, when you move 49, 36 automatically comes to the correct position. So even 36 is not being touched. 36 also is not being touched here. You're getting it? So this is how you do the final output. You're able to follow. So if I have to quickly... Uh, you know, recall the whole process. First, decide the output. What is the output? We have all the words in the beginning and numbers at the end. The words have been, you know, put in alternate ways. Uh, words starting with vowels, words starting with consonants. Then, uh, the words starting with vowels have been arranged in reverse alphabetical order. The words starting with consonants have also been arranged in reverse alphabetical order. Numbers have been put towards the end in pairs. The last pair of numbers is the smallest and the highest number. Last but one is the second smallest, second highest. And the you know, first pair of numbers from left to right is the third smallest and third highest. In the arrangement, what are we doing? In each step, we move a word and a number to the extreme positions as per the desired output. And we keep doing this inward arrangement until we get the final output. Remember, whenever we find something to be in the correct position, only in the correct position, we'll just leave it as it is and arrange the next position required. Like echo was not touched, apple was not touched. 36 was not touched. It automatically came to the correct position. 29 automatically came to the correct position. So there were four elements which came to their correct positions by themselves without we doing anything. I'm sure you can do the same thing for the given input, right? So what's the desired output first of all? Let me let me write the desired output. What should be the output? I don't know how many steps will it involve. Yeah, it, I think because there are... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 elements, we may have maximum 6 steps, right? 6 steps. If let's say everything has to be moved, we'll get 6 steps. If some things are already in the 
uh, required positions, then we may not have to move. So what is the desired output? Desired output, first numbers, yes, first, first words. So words are invert, param, and goal, urge, work. So we want, first we want to start with a word which is starting with vowel. So which are the words starting with vowel? Invert, urge, only two words, huh? and, and, yeah. So which should come first? Reverse alphabetical order, right? So U comes first, urge. Uh, dash then after urge we'll have invert I mean of course in between there will be a word starting with consonant and after invert we'll have and now let's find out what comes in these dashes so the remaining three words are param con starting with consonant goal starting with consonant G and work starting with consonant W again reverse alphabetical order would mean work coming in this dash next would be P or G next would be P param followed by goal so that's the arrangement of uh, words. How about numbers? How about numbers? One second. Yeah. How about the numbers? Numbers now are 56, 84, 29, 97, 16, 17. So we know that the third small. Uh, yeah. So let's let's do the smallest, largest first. It is easier to put, right? Smallest is 16. Largest is 97. So 16. 19 would 97 would come here 16 97 right that's one pair what comes after 16 mm, 29 and 84 i mean after 16 and before 97 29 84 so 29 84 right and then we have 37 and 56 37 56 that's the desired output all right so urge work invert param and goal 37 56 29 84 16 97 can you do the arrangement yourself or you want me to do that? You know the step by step process, right? Let me just put one or two steps so that you get the clarity again. I mean, this rearrangement is nothing new. We have discussed such kind of patterns earlier. Patternizing the logic is different. The logic is completely new. We haven't uh, covered something like this in the past, but the rearrangement process is not new, right? What will be step one? You want urge, urge comes here. And you want 97 that comes there everything else will be in between so invert i think uh, it will be it will be a good uh, to it will be good to take only one one letter so that we don't miss out on anything or, or let me just write invert then 56 param 84 and 29 goal 97 has been moved, urge has been moved, 16, work, 37, 97, 37, 97. The only thing you have to be careful about is not to miss any word or number there. So that is the reason, uh, you know, write in a neat handwriting. I mean, here you have written param like this. In the next step, you write param like this. It has taken more space. So you will not know whether you have come, you know, stopped at the right place or not. Are you getting me? Or use only one letter, U, I, P. A, G, W, so that you don't miss anything. Then what will be step two? In step two, see, urge is fixed. 97 is also fixed. What comes before, uh, what comes after urge? Work. So work comes next. And what comes before 97? 16. So 16 and work have been moved. So everything else as it is. Invert. 56. Param. 84. And... 29 goal 37 step 3 I don't know if step 3 is the penultimate step or not but I'm just putting step 3 so urge and work are fixed here 16 and 97 are fixed what is needed after work now interesting you see after work we want invert invert is already in the right position so I will not touch invert I mean invert is already there we have to bring the next word now param you're able to follow whatever I had shown in that what is this color called? Invert. Right? Radium type of color. Same thing happens here with invert. Whatever we had discussed here. Invert was already in the right position. So we are not touching it. 37 anyway. Oh, where is 37? I missed 37. Sorry. What should come before 16? 84. 84 comes here. Look at the output. 84. So what have we moved? We have moved param in 84. Right? Invert was already there in the right position. Now everything else has to be copied. So 56. Then we have and 
we have 29 we have goal and we have 37 uh, again there may be more steps needed right yeah i think there'll be two more steps needed after this so you can just look at that i'm putting a dot dot here i don't have enough space to work on it but i'm sure all of you have followed the process right so just do that and you'll get five marks right five marks so even if you spend let's say about three minutes in doing the whole stuff it's worth it because you'll get five marks in three minutes okay